All right, so welcome back to another uh, deep dive. Yeah. You know, we love these first lines. Absolutely. And we've done a lot of them. Yeah, we have. It's always fun to kind of pick apart and figure out, you know, what makes them tick. Oh, yeah, for sure. Today's is going to be interesting because I think most people know it. Right. Um, from J.M. Barry, mm-hmm. Peter Pan. Classic. All children except one grow up. Oh, yeah. Uh, instantly recognizable. Oh, right? yeah, absolutely iconic. Um, but is it a great hook? I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's interesting because it takes something that we all know to be true, right? Like all children grow up. Yeah. It's like a universal truth that we all accept. Right. And then throws in that little twist right at the end. Except one. Except one. Yeah. And it just immediately piques your curiosity. It does. Like, wait a minute. Who's this one? What's going on? Yeah. And it kind of, it foreshadows, I'm not foreshadows, it just directly sets up what the entire book is about. Exactly. Yeah. The themes of innocence and, you know, that eternal youth and never growing up. Right. And I think, too, it kind of plays on our own, like, nostalgia as adults. Oh, absolutely. Like, reading this book, like, oh, man, I remember when I thought I would never grow up, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're immediately transported back to that mindset. Yeah, there's something so whimsical about the way it's phrased, too, you know? Oh, yeah. It's, like, very simple and straightforward, but there's just, like, this little hint of magic in it. It's like like a fairy tale, you know? It's like you're stepping into this world where anything is possible. Right. And that's what the whole book is like. Exactly. Yeah, it perfectly sets the tone for what's to come. And I think it's really clever how he doesn't actually introduce Peter Pan by name in that first line. Oh, totally. It's just that one. Yeah. And it makes you like lean in and you want to know more about this one. Yeah, you're already invested. Right. And that's kind of Barry's style in general, right? Yeah. He uses really simple language, Mm -hmm. but there's always like this deeper meaning behind it. It's deceptively simple. Yeah. You know, like on the surface, it seems straightforward, but then the more you think about it, the more layers you uncover. Yeah. And this line, it's not just charming. It also makes you think about like the bittersweet nature of growing up. Right. Even before the story really starts, he's already planted that seed. So do you think, so some people would say this line's too simple, you know? Sure. Like it's not complex enough to be considered like a truly great hook. I can see that argument. I mean, it's not like super flowery or anything, yeah. but I think that's part of its charm. Yeah. Like it's so unassuming. Right. And yet it manages to pack such a punch. Yeah. It's like it sneaks up on you. Exactly. And I think it really works because of that contrast with the rest of the book. Like yeah. the book itself is full of adventure and imagination. Yeah. So this simple opening line, it's like a breath of fresh air before you're swept away. I think it's interesting too because. You know, we all kind of already know the story of Peter Pan. So going into it, like that line almost hits us harder because we have that like shared cultural knowledge. Yeah, it it taps into our collective memory and it makes us feel things that maybe we wouldn't feel if we were reading it for the very first time. Yeah, and it, it makes you wonder like, would it be as impactful if you didn't already know who Peter Pan was? That's a good question. Like, would it still have that same magic? Hmm, maybe not. Something to think about, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely something to ponder. Well, that's it for another deep dive. Thanks for having me. Thanks for listening, everybody. Always a pleasure. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.